Derek Simonetti of The Proving Ground. Have you ever been the subject of wrestler's court? And if so, care to share why? Any interesting stories from wrestler court you have seen? I personally have never been a, the subject of wrestler's court, but I've seen a couple interesting ones. What was the most the interesting? Yeah. The, the difference, when I was at WWE, wrestler's court would, like, I'd see grown men cry. I'd see women cry. They were fucking mean. Like, they, would, they were really nasty, really mean. And they were very serious. And when I got to TNA, I witnessed two, and both of them were, we were ribbing on the square. You know, we were just, hey, fucker, you screwed up. Right. But we're going to have a laugh about it. You know, Tommy Dreamer's the bailiff, and he's wearing a suit coat, and he's got his balls hanging out. To, so he's wearing like a, a red thong, and right. he's got his balls, each testicle is hanging out the side. And, you know, there's girls in the room. It doesn't matter. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, what, could, what offense could be so serious in WWE that I they remember, were crying? Um, I remember one time there was a girl who was accused of being a, a female hater. Like, she was mean to all the other girls. And so, yeah. She, and she was, too. I heard a story one time, this girl, um, who will remain nameless. But she... One of the girls came up from FCW to, to start on TV with Matt Hardy. And she went into the, she set her bag in the locker room. She went to catering, ate, came back, and her bag was gone. And she was looking everywhere for it. She walked out in the hall, and this person said, like, can I help you with something, honey? And she was like, yeah, I'm looking for my bag. And she goes, oh, it's over there but in the trash where it fucking belongs. And... You know, that kind of stuff. And so the so, girl, the, the offending girl with that threw the bag in got taken to wrestler's yeah, court. Yeah, not for that particular incident, but that was just... The, type of stuff. That kind of stuff. And she cried. So, and yeah. Bad. There are people going for chemo tomorrow. Um, and I, one time, I wasn't there for this, but it was during my time, and it was Chad Wicks. That was one of the guys I was talking about before with the blonde. When I oh, gotcha. Yeah. Um, Chad Wicks and Tank Toland were the blonde bombers. They ended up being the dicks in WWE. And they got in a fight somehow. Um, they, they got egged on to get into a fight, basically. And I remember hearing this story where uh, they were asking questions about, like, do you guys get along when you're on the road? And Chad said, well, you know, uh, one, once in a while, one time he pulled the car over and said you should, that I should get out. And then I remember Benoit said, like, so did you stand up for yourself or did you just take it like a cunt? And he was like... Well, I, I just took it. I didn't do anything. He's like, you should stand up for yourself right now. You should. And then he started, Chad started doing the, like, like that. Like, like he was going to get him. And, uh, and he, eventually he, they ended up, like, fighting. And Tank just jacked him in the mouth once, cut his finger. Jesus. Down to here and had to get stitches. That's now, on the heels of that advice, <laughs> Tank and Chad, neither of them murdered their six-year-old, right? No. Good. No, no. Not, not Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> 